Hello, hello, kahabsat! Ang video na ito ay uh, ibabahagi ko sa inyo kung paano ang paggawa ng Japanese plum wine. Ito yung, ang tawag nila ay Omeshu, Omeshu wine ng mga Japanese. Sarap. Sarap humagod sa lalamunan. So, let's start! And here we need the rock sugar. I used uh, two pack by 600 grams. Yes, this is the rock sugar. And we have the Japanese sake. Yes, that's the brand. It's the Japanese sake. Yes, that's the bottle. Jousen. That's the brand. And then we have the Ume Plum. Yes. We have to clean it well. Linising mabuti. Tanggalin yung mga itim-itim dyan. Ayan. Make sure na malinis na malinis. And we dry it using the kitchen towel. Yung kitchen tissue. Ayan, and then, i-prick natin yung, tanggalin natin ng yung mga itim-itim. May mga dumi pa siguro. Ayan siya. Make sure na malinis. It's like, it's like my way to. Gamitan ng toothpick para matanggal yung mga itim-itim dun sa pinanggalingan na tangkay. First? Yes, malinis na. And then, now ready to put in the jar. Prick it with the fork. Ayan, butas-butasan bago ilagay. Then, next ang sugar. Make sure na mas mauna yung ume plum sa ilalim bago yung rock sugar. Yes, that's it. Yes! Magkakaroon na tayo ng Omeshu wine. Yes, this is the Japanese sake. Yan. That's the brand. And then, open it. Yan. Let's fill in. Here we use uh, one bottle plus uh, a little bit just to fill in the jar. Make sure na it covers all the rock sugar on top. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Okay, puno na. And then shake it a little bit so that the ume plum will put in place. And then we use the glad drop to cover it that way. And then make sure that uh, we cover it well. Yeah. Yes, it's ready. And then we put in a dark place. We put in the cabinet. So, ayan, ilagay natin dyan. And, it will stay there for about 12 months. Yes. Bye-bye. See you after 12 months. Hello, hello, 
How are you? You must be very, very tasty. Pwede na siya. Ang bango. Ang bango. Ang bango. Ang bango. Tikim lang tayo. Sarap sa lalang.